coverage now of the Mobile River Bridge and Bayway project. Today, Governor Ivey sent a letter to the other members of the rarely convened Alabama Toll Road Bridge and Tunnel Authority, calling for a public meeting next month. Now, this is the first time we are hearing from the governor on the bridge toll issue. News 5's Cherish Lombard is here with the governor's letter and the governor's concerns about the project. Cherish? Yeah, this is the letter I'm holding right now. And the governor says this project is tremendously important to the Gulf Coast and the entire state of Alabama, but the most significant obstacle, money. There was an expectation that we would receive some federal funding. Alabama will receive a grant worth $125 million, but that would only cover about 6% of the $2.1 billion plus interest price tag. And the governor says there doesn't appear to be a major infrastructure bill passing Congress anytime soon. That's why ALDOT is proposing a toll to pay for the new bridge. In the 20 years that we've been developing this project, we've looked at how we can fund it, and now it is a 2.1 estimated cost to build the project. State and local government simply doesn't have that money, and tolling is required to bring this project to fruition. A lot of people have questions about the project, and Governor Ivey believes those questions should be answered. That's why she's calling a public meeting on Tuesday, September 17th in the Alabama State Capitol. She wants an update from ALDOT and to hear suggestions from other stakeholders. In the letter, she says, quote, I am sensitive to concerns of what a toll would do to working families, lower and middle class individuals, small businesses, and students and the elderly, as I am sure you are. I am also concerned about the cost of doing nothing, which is what some of the opponents to a toll are suggesting. Governor Ivey will be in Orange Beach on Monday speaking at the Economic Development Association of Alabama luncheon. We're planning to have a crew there to ask her some more questions about the Mobile Bridge and Bayway project, and we will let you know what she has to say there here on air and on WKRG.